trying to see if everything is correct and it's not. It's flipped around. Let's see. Let me flip it back. See if that will do the trick. Wait, that looked pretty good. Hmm. Hang on, just give it a second. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. How are you? I am so excited to be here. Um, I've been out of town. I went to the International Balloon. What's it called? International Balloon Festival in Albuquerque. Um, it is. It was so so cool. If you didn't get to see my video, try to go back there and look for it. Um, but today, I just wanted to share some fun Halloween doodles with you. I haven't been on here to do a live in a while, and so I thought this would be fun. So, um, y'all say hi. Tell me what's going on. This is just a little notebook. I haven't tried it before, but it's a it's like a travel journal, and I thought that would be kind of fun to do some doodles in it to be able to keep it like together, kind of like a, a bullet journal or a journal, a doodle journal. How about that? Doodle journal. Let's call it that. My dogs are going to get in trouble this morning. It's not even morning anymore. My dog's getting in trouble this afternoon. So I'm just going to go ahead and title it. I'm not going to do it Halloween themed because I don't think I have enough Halloween doodles to go in this book. So I'm just going to call it a doodle journal. And I can go back and make the, ooh, y'all can't see that. Let's try that. <clears throat> A minute to get going, y'all. Get everything set up right. Okay, I'm gonna write with a darker marker too. Let's see, that's better. It really shows better without any light, but I can't see very good. So I'm trying to meet in the middle here. <laughs> okay, that's better, but still bright. Okay, I'm gonna turn this light off too. And see if y'all can see. There, open my blinds. I can see pretty good now. Okay, so we'll just call this a doodle journal. And I will fix this up later. Okay, so Alexa, it's getting on my nerves. Journal. I gotta I gotta think before I finish talking. Hang on. I'm going to spell this for sure if I don't concentrate. I think that's spelled right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, my Alexa. Hi, Elaine. Good to see you on here. Uh oh. All right. She's going to get on my last nerve. I'm going to have to unplug her or something because we had a good relationship and now we're kind of rocky because she doesn't work anymore like I want her to. And I'm frustrated with her. So, if she talks to me too much longer, I'm going to have to, um, yeah, I'm going to have to turn it off, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to, I don't know if any of you have seen me use this. This is a uh, laser light. It's a laser level, actually. I don't think I can use it that way. Okay, so I'm going to use it here just so I can um, write pretty straight. It's really best to do it where you have something to measure it up against. See what I'm talking about here. I have that line lined up with this. Um, so this is a cool tool, but I just don't have enough room because I require a lot of space. Right, let me get this lined up. You can actually tape down. It might be a good decision to tape down what you're working on to get a straight line. So I just decided like an hour ago to do a live today. Oh, it's because I'm doing it backwards. So I don't know if y'all are familiar with washi tape. Washi tape is awesome. It's a tape that is removable. So when I tape this here, I can just pull it off. And it's also cute for decorative purposes, but it's W-A-S-H-I. And you can get it in all kinds of designs and you can get it just almost anywhere. Okay, so I'm just lining this up so I can write straight on here. And I'm just going to do basic happy Halloween. Nothing spooky yet. 
y'all go all out for Halloween? Do you decorate? Just trying to make sure I'm not misspelling it again. My dog's about to get in trouble. Halloween. Is that spelled right? I think it is. Halloween. Yes. Since I'm from East Texas, sometimes we say things that don't. <laughs> We say things and they don't spell like they're sound. Good afternoon. I'm in my studio doing some applique. Thanks for listening to you. Oh, hi, Anne. I'm so glad that you are popped in here to, to say hello and to listen. I hope I sound okay. I'm work on my. I'm going to work on how excited I sound. How about that? <laughs> okay. I just wanted to show you that quick little tip. Love that. I like writing at an angle better. And so my table, this is straight on my table. So I'm just going to turn this booklet. Um, okay, so that was a quick little tip with the laser. Now I'm just going to take my marker and I'm going to draw a um, banner, pennant banner. I like to have one in the center. It's also good to think about what you're going to say. So if I want to do, um, these are just random doodles, by the way. It's not supposed to go together because I would have done this above happy, uh, Halloween and done Happy Halloween. This looks like teeth. Ooh, it looks like monster teeth. Okay, so if we want to do this to be happy, just doing little bows on the end, we could do that. I love these gel pens too. These are jelly rolls. H, A. They're so like smooth. They roll on like butter. Can you see that? Okay, so let's do some other things. I'm probably going to do a lot of it in black because it's easier for you to see. I'm imagining. I have these precision pens that I really like. They're all different sizes. So I like to have different sizes of... Hi, from Indiana. Hi, Kelly. I like to have different sizes for different things. So we're going to do a pumpkin. And so when you do a pumpkin, you don't want it perfectly round because they are not perfectly round. And once you make that outside shape, then you can do like an oval in the middle. And then you can maybe do another line beside it. Another line beside it. And there's your pumpkin and make a little stem. And then it's also fun to do a little curly cue. It's pretty easy, huh? Do some candy corn. Y'all like candy corn? I'm telling you, the best thing in the entire world, if you've never had it, is candy corn with somebody fill in the blank for me, because I know y'all know. That's kind of a pointy. Some of them are pointy, I guess. Candy corn. Let's see. I'm going to make it a little bit curved this time. It's kind of like draw like a V, but not too pointy. And then have a curved top and two curved spots here. That's better. Amy's right, peanuts, you win the prize. A gir uh, girl, if you have not, I know you have, but if some of y'all have not had what I'm talking about, peanuts and candy corn, you, you haven't lived. It is, okay, now here's another question. That's another pointy one. Um, what does it taste like? It tastes like something. See how it helps to have it a little bit curved? It looks better. That one right there. What does it taste like? I'm going through, so that's good. A payday! You're winning all the prizes today, Amy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it's the best. I can't, I literally can't even buy it. I really can't. It is, oh, it's so bad. I mean, when I say bad, I mean, I can't stop eating it. It's so addictive. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Okay. Those are some pretty sad-looking candy corns. Let's color them. Maybe that'll make me feel better. So I have Tombow markers, and they're great for hand lettering, but they're also really good for um, coloring. And, and you can do shading and watercolor with them. And just color it with them. I need to let that black dry better before I go over it. And now I'm going to just get like a golden yellow 
to do the middle one. And then the top one's white. Okay, and our pumpkin, I drew it really small. Just draw a bigger pumpkin. Are y'all drawing with me? It's so fun to doodle together. Remember, don't make it too round. Pumpkins are odd shapes. And we're gonna do like an oval inside of it. And then another one on each side. Let's make a thicker stem this time because they're pretty thick. And another curly Q coming out. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And then, hi, Lisa, how are you? Yeah, I'll let that dry for a second, then I'll come back to it. All right, let's do a spider web. So, is anybody drawing with me? I didn't see any comments on that. Am I drawing by myself? Okay, so what we're gonna do for a spider web is we're just going to, I guess we don't want it too perfect. So let's do, kind of like that. And then we'll start making the, the web. Y'all follow me on that, or do I need to talk more step by step? Hi, Patricia, Michigan. What's the weather like there? It is unbelievably cold for Texas at this time of the year. A lot of times, like even Halloween, we're like burning up. Nobody buys like a bird costume because, or if they do, they're dying. Huh? Um, but it's cold here. Or at least for us, I'm trying to find the temperature. I have a feeling it's cold there. This isn't really a spooky spider web, it's more. It's really symmetrical though. We're probably not that symmetrical. Okay, so we'll do some words. See if we can make spider webs on these words. Here's one thing that what I like about uh, having the different size markers is because if I can find my really small ones, I can show you. This one's smaller. But anyway, if you want to do like a spider web to the side over here on the letters, you can do that. I don't know if I'm d delayed in watching y'all make comments, but if I'm not answering your questions or replying to you, that might be that I'm not seeing it. Okay, so we're doing spider webs on here. I'm just making some lines for the webs, and then I'm doing like a U shape inside of them. So we have some spider webs in there, making spooky letters. We can always make a jack-o'-lantern out of our pumpkin as well. Oh, I meant to not draw all these lines because I wanted to make let me see if this jack o' lantern will work. I make friendly ones or not so friendly ones. This is why I like um, thicker black markers too, because it doesn't take as long to color them in. I'm trying to find my permanent ones so I don't. This might be too big, but I'm going to try it. I 
to be. Not too, too thick. Oh, hi from the Netherlands. Is it Nela? Nala? It's beautiful. I love the way that is spelled. Is anybody decorating for Halloween? They're too quiet. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there's a jack-o'-lantern. Um, let's see about doing. Make a really friendly ghost. Did y'all watch Casper the Friendly Ghost? I did. I did, especially if you have grandkids or kids, that way they won't be as scared if there's a friendly ghost. And probably what I would do here is, well, let's put eyelashes on it so it's really friendly. Hi, Shirley. Okay. Looks like y'all are so far away. Let me see if I can make this go down a little bit more. I don't know if that helped all. Okay, so how about we draw... I don't really know how to draw a spotter. Let's try. I don't know, maybe his legs should go two back and two front. <laughs> I think I probably should have done that. Oh, well, that's how you learn, right? I am going to color him. And, and then I might try to see if I can trick the eye with my white gel pen. Oh, is it better? Can you really see better? Okay. With these two. If I don't like those two, and I'm going to take that away, and then maybe I can, but I can put some little eyes on these guys. I can put some eyes on them. <laughs> um, let's see. I like highlighting everything, so I like putting like a little dab of white. Okay, let's, I'm going to get my watercolors out, and, oh, these are my new ones. Oh, I love these things. These are Koi, K-O-I, and they are my favorite. They're the most vibrant that I have found. I've tried a lot of different ones, and I have a lot of different ones, sorry. But I haven't found any I like as much as these. I have a water pen. I don't know if y'all know what a water pen is, but it's a... A, a water brush, water brush, it's a paintbrush where you can just put water in it. That way I don't have to get up. There's a water bottle, just filling it up with water and fill it back on. Then when I squeeze it, water's going to come out. We'll see, I'm not really sure about this black marker I used. I don't know if it's permanent or not. So I'm just going to squeeze. Can y'all see this? I think you can. Squeeze some water on here. I haven't even used all the colors yet, so I don't know how this is going to look. I think it's kind of glittery. It might be really, really soft on here. But anyway, I'm going to see if it's going to bleed or not. I might get lucky. I have several pens that do and several pens that don't, and I'm not as familiar with this line, but I'm thinking we're okay. Ooh, it's kind of glittery, but y'all can't see that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is glittery. I'm going to hold it up. I don't think you'll be able to see it on the camera, but maybe. Okay. Now, that won't, I'm not happy with just that. I've got to let it dry for a second, and then I'm going to um, 
then I'm going to do some highlighting, highlighting, is that what you call it? Shadows, <laughs> shadows. This is a heat gun. It's a Ranger heated craft tool. Just speeds the process along. I love it because it is so quiet. The one I had before was just ridiculous. Let's see if that goes through, through this paper. I haven't used this paper before, which I think it's pretty good. Oh my gosh, it has a shimmer to it. You might can see it better now. Wow, I love it. So now that it's semi-dry, I'm going to do the darker. These come in different sizes, but um, I am just using one size because that's what I can find right now. <laughs> I think this is neon, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll see. Anything's better than just one color, though. That bugs me. When um, it just, I don't know, just needs to mention. So that's better, even though it's it's a neon and the other's not. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze this out. And then I have this rag that I use. So I could just throw it in the wash. It's easier than having paper towels. Because paper towels, you know, absorb so much water. Now, what did I, was I going to do? Oh, oh, this down. So let's see what. This is brown. No, it's purple. Sometimes you just don't know until you get it wet, right? That's purple. This is, oh, this is a metallic gold over here. Let's see how that looks. That might be a good stamp. That works. That works. Okay, those are just so pretty. I'm going to do this other, I almost called it a watermelon. Ooh, that is so neon. Wow. I should have my other water brush because I need a thinner one to work on the, um, the shadows on that. I wish I could see it better because it's pretty neon on here and it doesn't look like it on my screen. I'm going to try to make the whole thing come down a little bit. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm looking for another water brush, but I've been using my stuff so much. Then I went on vacation. And then you can't find anything when you come back from vacation. Found a really thick one. That's not what I need. Pick up alarm to pick up my daughter from school. But now she has her driver's lesson, so I can turn that alarm off. Okay, I found one water brush. I don't think it's any thinner. So. Okay, we'll just try this. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna take this color, which is a this is like a this is a hot pink. And I'm just gonna add some dimension over here. Just to give it some more personality. Hi Melody, thank you. That candy corn. Do you, have you had candy corn with peanuts? If you haven't, don't ever try it because you can't stop unless you don't like candy corn. And how can someone not like candy corn? I don't know how. Okay, so that's kind of fun to do a little uh, neon one. Have y'all seen the beautiful pumpkins out there? Um, on Pinterest, I've been posting some on my Facebook page. It's just amazing what people can do with a pumpkin. I mean, just like the really pretty ones with the um, 
Did anybody just die when I just mixed my colors over there? <laughs> Did y'all die when you saw that? Um, anyway, I have seen some that were floral, hand painted, so pretty. You wouldn't want to uh, for it to go bad. So I would have to do that on a fake pumpkin because that's a stupid idea. Now I'm just mixing some colors, you know, so it's not too boring to have just one orange pumpkin. You know how you buy those pumpkin pails? Some of them are pink, some of them are all different colors. So, hey, we'll just go with whatever we want to do, right? Tell I came the best because of the variety of color. But again, on the screen, it just doesn't look as good to me. Yeah, I've tried candy corn M&Ms and peanuts. That's evil. Why would you tell me that? <laughs> Hi, Laura. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that sounds so good. So, so good. I already made a mess over here. What's new? All right, so now we can draw some more stuff. Oh, let's fix my little guy's legs. So I put a white gel pen on it, and I'll show you up close. Looks pretty good. Can you tell right there where I covered it up? I made him go the wrong way, so or the, the way I didn't want him to go. So now I'm going to make him go that way, like that. That's better. So now let's draw, we'll do the next page. Let's draw, um, how about a Frankenstein? Let me do that. So I'm going to do a, a U shape. Let's draw, make it go up a little bit more. Some ears, just some basic. Are y'all drawing with me? I hope you're drawing with me. You don't need much. Okay. And then we're going to make his nose pretty close to the level of the ears. That might be a little tiny nose, but I will. And then he's got a real hard line for his grumpy face. And then we'll make it a little other U shape. Too many U shapes for his eyes. I'm just gonna do it too. I'm gonna step myself. It's not like he has this big unibrow. Oh, thank you, Tammy. You're so sweet. And then he's not real happy, so we'll give him some not real friendly eyes and then kind of a crumpy face. This is where he starts to look more like himself. Let me give him this little, what are these? Nuts and bolts? I don't know what they are. That could have probably even gone out further. And then we need to give him some cuts and bruises. He's a little bit friendlier than I'm meant to make him. He's not as mad. Might be a, a little boy dressed up as uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> Okay, there's that. Um, there's different kind of spider webs you can do. You can always do one up in the corner. Why do you doodle? Why would someone doodle? Does it seem silly as an adult to doodle? Oh, 
believe it or not, it's really relaxing. It really is. Awesome more of these. So you can have your little spider web, like if you were making a card or doing something, you can make it in the corner. So if you want to do a tombstone or a, what is it called? A head, I don't know what it's called. Tombstone <laughs> works for me. have a couple of neighbors that go all out for Halloween. I mean, like their stuff is um, crazy everywhere. Hi, Joan. Do I do it with a plan or just do whatever comes to your mind? Um, I have to be inspired. And so I'll get on Pinterest and I'll get some ideas and then um, I'll go with it. And then once I draw it enough to where um, I know what I'm doing, you know, like I've done it so many times. Um, then I'm, I'm comfortable doing it without, you know, there's some flowers that I do without, there's some arrows, there's some banners that I don't need to get, I don't need to look at anymore because I know the steps in drawing it, but, um, other things, yes, definitely, definitely have to look on Pinterest and wherever. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Um, but what I do is try to get ideas from different places that I've seen stuff and then make it my own. But yeah, just get on there and doodle. I saw a cute uh, spider web that they made like curly cues on it. It was really cute. So let's try that. This is like the basic, kind of like an asterisk. And then they just kind of started, you know, doing the same way as we've seen them made before. Which, by the way, isn't it just the most amazing thing that spiders can do this? It's crazy. You know what, Joan? Another cool idea is print some things out that you like and then do, uh, hang on. You know what carbon paper is or graphite paper? I have a piece, let me look for it. I just had it. What do I do with it? Okay. Probably you know what graphite paper is. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to show you, like, say you printed something out on, um, on Instagram or wherever. You found a coloring book or something. I think. Is this going to work? I'm going to do this. Little, no, that's one. Okay. I'll do this. Thing. So I'm right. I don't know why I can't think right now. This black side is the shiny side. It goes down. And then whatever you're going to trace goes on top. And you take a pencil. You trace over it. Let's see if this works. There you go. So there you have it. So now just get you some carbon paper. And then that way you're still having fun. You're still drawing and you're learning as you draw. And then I don't think it's erased. I don't think the carbon will erase, but um, anyway, that way you can still color and everything. And just because you're tracing doesn't mean you're not drawing it. Obviously, you're drawing it, but it's going to help you learn skills for the future. Like you're going to, and all these things I'm doing, I'm only doing it with a black marker because I want you to be able to see it good. Uh, a pencil is really hard to see on film. And so um, if you, um, do it in pencil, which sure is a lot easier. Okay, so then they did some curly cues that so they just made it more whimsical, made it fun. I'm all about that. Uh, 
I'm making it up as I go because I haven't done this before. But I have seen it. We got inspired other places. Um, work on practicing your own and then make it your own. Because I'm not the first person that's ever drawn a spider web. We all know that. <laughs> and I'm not the first person that's ever drawn it to look like this. But mine doesn't look like the one I saw online because theirs is much cuter because they've done it before. I love whimsy. Kind of modernizes it too. And it makes it more adult fun, you know. Yeah, the curls are cute. Yeah, try the curls. Another fun thing that I've been seeing that's really popular on Pinterest is, um, is making your pumpkins. I just don't know if y'all can see if I use I'll try this orange just to see. It's like a cloisonne look to me, but uh, like they'll take, they'll draw a pumpkin. I don't love the way those sound, by the way. I had some eyeliner pins this would really work out better and I don't I don't know where any are but I'm gonna try if you can see with this still pen belly roll okay so because I think it's gonna be thinner so what they've done is just done really cool designs in here like um, swirls and they make it kind of look tribal too, maybe by putting some arrow looking shapes in there. If I had thinner, I would do it a lot thinner if I could. But let's see. I don't know if the right word is cloisonne, but it just reminded me it was real detailed and again, whimsy and fun. And then also, you can take it and um, make it ombre, and so do some lighter colors on the top and darker on the bottom. I don't know if I have any to do that with. Let me look. Of course, the bigger you make it, the more design you can put in it. But isn't this fun? Then I'm going to have a doodle book so I can go back and look at them next year and then remember, oh yeah, and then see what doodles I've learned that are new. And, um, yeah. and then, so anyway, just make designs in here. Have y'all seen the pumpkins where they've done the you probably have the nail polish. Where they put the nail polish in the water and then you dump the pumpkin and you pull it out and it's a really cool marble effect. Let's see, I'm gonna do green instead. Your vine, but a little thick there. Okay, so you can kind of see that. I also saw, and I would definitely need to draw this with um, pencil first, so I'm going to just outline this. Um, a pumpkin where they did, can you see that? Okay, so they did everything and it was black, but it was all a design. It looked really cool. I can do. So it might just be swirls. And then when they erase the lines, it looked neat. 
These aren't going to be beautiful because I don't want you all to have to watch me do this all day. You can watch the time lapse later when I, <laughs> when I put it on. Okay, and so you want to leave a little bit of a break in between because you want it to be obvious that there's bridges there, if that makes sense. And since it's my first time to do this, um, I'm sure I'll learn as I go. I figure you probably need to make some really close to the lines so it looks like there's a line break there. I make up my own words. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm hoping y'all can read minds. Okay, again, I'm gonna do another one. You see it starting to come together. And I'll take more time doing this. Making it really cute. And what we might do if we feel like it's not real obvious that there's a, I may not have left too much uh, enough in between there. Um, what we could do is draw some lines. When in doubt, just go ahead and draw the line, right? 